I'm Andrea. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful cauliflower recipe. I love this recipe because it takes cauliflower, which is a very nice vegetable, but not really exciting, and it adds a few ingredients and turns it into a really wonderful either hors d'oeuvre or it could be a first course for your dinner party. I call them cauliflower bites and they're baked, so it's healthier than having something fried and it's absolutely delicious. So the, and the ingredients are very simple, I'll go over them now. The ingredients are cauliflower, green onions, some ground almond flour, finely ground. We have cilantro and thyme, both fresh if you can, and some eggs and mozzarella, sesame seed, and salt and pepper. Put our cauliflower in the water to boil, add a little bit of salt to the water, about a teaspoon, and once this water starts boiling, then set your timer for three minutes. Don't overcook the cauliflower because it's going to be chopped up and baked in the oven again, so you want it to be pretty firm. So while the cauliflower is boiling, let's get everything else ready. Let's start with the spring onions. Take the ends off. I'm going to finely chop these. Okay. Use the whites and a little bit of the green. Now let's use all the green. <laughs> it smells so good. Alright, the cauliflower has boiled for three minutes. Let's drain it. So let's finish cutting up our ingredients. We have some cilantro. We're going to put about a half a cup chopped cilantro in. And uh, I would chop this up fairly fine. By the way, you could do all this in a food processor if you want to, but I don't mind chopping it up. Okay, so this is nice and fine. I think this makes the best cauliflower bites. Okay, so let's add that in. Okay. So I ended up putting this cauliflower in a blender and it, it chopped it up beautifully, just like this. So it's, a, it's slightly coarse, it's kind of in between fine and coarse. So we're going to add our three cups of cauliflower to our bowl, our big mixing bowl. Let's add a little fresh thyme to our ingredients here. You can take the leaves right off, they smell so good. by hand, kind of squeeze them together like you're making a snowball. Put them on a baking sheet that you've sprayed lightly with a cooking spray. So here we have our cauliflower bites ready to go in the oven. Put your sesame seeds on a moderate to low heat until they're golden, no oil in a cast iron pan if you have.
cloud, which is about a little smaller than my own head. <laughs>